Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down complex tech concepts into simple terms. Today, we are diving into hash indexes, a fundamental data structure that powers fast lookups in databases and beyond. If you are ever wondered how databases retrieve records so quickly, stick around because hash indexes are the magic behind the certain. So let's get started. First, what is hash, hash indexing? Has hash indexing? Sorry. Um, at its core, a hash index is a data structure that maps keys to values using a hash function. The, f the hash function takes a key, such as a user ID or a product code, and converts it into an integer. This integer is then used as an index in a hash table, essentially an array of buckets where the corresponding value is stored. Okay, let's just try to make an example. So let's understand how this works in, in action. So let's see that we have keys. Let's see that we have, um, let's make it white and white. And let's say we have key, key one. And let's make it like that white. Key two and key three. Okay, and all of them will be aligned. key two and key three. So we have three keys and we have a hash function because we said everything is going through hash function. So let's just create another one, which will be, this will be hash function. And I guess it needs to be bigger. And uh, And we said that the keys will be hashed into a numbers and it will be stored in buckets. This is how they work. So first uh, we need to make the color different here. And all of them will be stored in a bucket. So let's just create a bucket. Uh, let's say that we have a four buckets or like maybe it's something like array so let's say that we have three buckets um i guess if we created a table like a table let's search for a table yeah i need someone in yeah okay so this one is the bucket let's put it here so let's just first make a quite big and so first I have like a bucket zero um let me make it in the middle and also in the middle mm -hmm. so there's zero this is one and this is two and this is three it's uh, something like an array so this is our buckets <coughs> sorry buckets let's call it okay so um the buckets will be saved for example we have three keys so we have three values for example one will be saved no not, not like that one will be saved for example in in bucket zero another one will be saved in bucket two and the first one let's say it will be saved in bucket three for example and basically each one will save as value. So you find that um, like this one has like values of um, like, uh, oh, this is too big, like value one, value one, for example, but just make small, really small. And yeah, so we can see everything. Let's make it even smaller. Uh, value one and maybe um, here it will be like value two no no delete value two and etc so this is an example of 
a, um, a hash indexing. So again, for example, let's assume that um, if we are want to store of, or find a record with the ID of one to three, for example, the hash function converts one to three into an integer, which points to a specific packet in the hash table where the record is stored. So everything is stored in a specific packet. And now why are, let's understand why are uh, hash indexes so popular? It's popular about the speed because it has a complexity of of one in insertion, deletion, and lookups. That means these operations are lightning fast, making hash indexes ideal for applications requiring quick retrieval. Because again, we take every key, we put, we we hash it into an integer, and each integer is sorted in a bucket. And when we try to retrieve or delete or insert or do whatever we want with this value, when we put the ID, we go the hash function, we, we will redirect you directly to a specific packet with time complexity of one. So when a key value pairs is added, the hash function calculates the index for the key. The key value pair is sorted in a corresponding bucket at that index. When you need to retrieve the value, the hash function recalculates the index for the key and retrieves the values from that bucket. So this process ensures quick and direct access without needing to scan an entire database. Hash indexes have several advantages. First thing is speed because they provide constant time operations on average. The second thing is efficient space usage. They minimize wasted space compared to some other data structure. Third, simplicity because it's easy to implement and maintain. Um, hash indexes are widely used in databases for indexing, for indexing primary keys or unique identifiers in caching systems like Redis to quickly retrieve cache data. Third, in, comp in compilers to store and look up variables and name in simple tables. Of course, no data structure is perfect. Hash, in hash indexes come with a few challenges. Um, the first thing is um, collisions because when two keys hash to the same index, we need a way to handle it. A common method include like chaining, like storing multiple values in a linked list on t um, at the same bucket, or maybe open addressing because finding um, another empty bucket. Uh, the second thing, we have a hash function dependency because a poorly designed hash function can lead to uneven distribution and uh, deg deg um, degrading performance or to O of, one, o of N instead of O of 1. The second thing, the third thing, it's not, not sorted. Hash indexes do not maintain sorted data. They are not ideal for range queries. So um, hash indexes are the best use cases when you need a quick lookups by exact by an exact key, like searching for a user by user by their IDs. You don't need to perform range queries or sorting. Your data set fits comfortably in memory. Um, to wrap it up, hash hash indexes are powerful tools for fast data retriever, especially when working with exact lookups. With their simplicity and speed, there are they are um, a stable in everything from databases to caching systems. So just remember to choose a good hash function and watch out for um, collisions. Uh, thanks for watching uh, this video. If you found this explanation helpful, give give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tech uh, breakdowns. Got questions about hash indexes or other data structures? Drop them in the comment section below. See in the see you in the next video guys.